Oscillatory motion The to and fro motion of an object is called periodic motion. Another name for periodic motion is oscillatory motion. For example, motion of a seesaw. A pendulum is said to have completed one oscillation when its bob, starting from mean position O, moves to one extreme position, say A, then to another extreme position, say B, and then comes back to O. One oscillation, in other words, can also be when the bob of a simple pendulum moves from one extreme position, say A, to the other extreme position, say B, and comes back to A. Time period of a simple pendulum The time taken by a pendulum to complete one oscillation is called its time period. For example, if a pendulum takes two seconds to complete one oscillation, then its time period is also two seconds. So, we can say that the time period of a simple pendulum is equal to the total time taken divided by the number of oscillations. With the help of this formula, we can calculate the time period of a pendulum. For example, a simple pendulum takes 64 seconds to complete 20 oscillations. What is the time period of the pendulum? Let us try to solve this problem. We know that time taken by the pendulum is equal to 64 seconds. And the number of oscillations is equal to 20. We also know that time period of a simple pendulum is equal to total time taken divided by number of oscillations. Substituting the values in this formula, we get 64 divided by 20, which is equal to 32 divided by 10, or 3.2 seconds. Hence, the time period of the simple pendulum is 3.2 seconds. The famous scientist Galileo Galilei found that a pendulum of a given length takes always the same time to complete one oscillation. For example, two pendulums of same length L will take the same time, that is, t seconds to complete one oscillation. This observation led to the development of pendulum clocks. Winding clocks and wristwatches were refinements of the pendulum clocks. Nowadays, most clocks or watches have an electric circuit with one or more cells. These are called quartz clocks. A quartz clock uses an oscillator that is regulated by a quartz crystal to measure more accurate time than mechanical clocks.